Greetings, Great Grebo here. Uh, I am now going to review my new Panda spin dryer. It's uh, it's a spin dryer. I've already said spin about three times now. Um, and it spins at approximately 3200 RPM revolutions per minute. It's a little over 100 miles an hour. And so what it is is you take laundry, which I have from my uh, new Panda PAN uh, 60 SWR1 portable washing machine. And because, uh, you know, they come out and they feel pretty dry, right? Well, the purpose of the spin dryer is, is you will be shocked at how much more water you can actually get out of, um, you know, clothes that have already been spun in a regular washing machine because this spins at such a high RPM. This is only about mm, a half load, well, about three quarters of a load that I am stuffing in here. So, um, yeah, so it's not even completely full, but this is the load. Um, you do want to make sure that you've got it properly balanced. You don't want to like stuff all the jeans to one side because this thing is going fast. It's, it's not a good thing. So you want to stick the things in their balance. It has a little protective top because as the stuff spins, it's, you know, centrifugal force. It's going to go out, but it's going to want to come up. So you stick this in and it just, you slap it right in and there's a little lip at the top of the drum so that it's uh, tightly in there. I have, this is the fun part, it's a uh, measuring cup, and sometimes it's fun, depending on the size of the load, to put the cup under there and then make a bet with my other half as to uh, how much more liquid we're going to get out of this already spun dry from the washing machine clothing. So, um, you know, I suspect we're going to get at least two more cups of water out of this. So, all right, so I just, all I do is put the lid down, you make sure it is plugged in, it's just a 110 regular plug-in it does have a, a it has a it does have a little grounding prong on it so you're going to need a, a three hole plug-in i don't know the technical term um yeah so you go like that you then flip this i do have this on um a rug so i hold on to it when it first gets going but you can see my fingers wiggling see it's extremely quiet for something that's spinning over 100 miles an hour and basically the motor will go for two minutes it'll spin with the motor on for two minutes and at any point i can take this lever and slide it slowly down and it will put the brakes on it but i don't do that i don't want to put the wear and tear so it will spin for two minutes um and it will get water out the entire time and then it takes about three minutes for it to naturally slow down and stop on its own like i said at any point i can stop it manually i prefer to let it run it's whole cycle as you can see it's already well maybe you can maybe you can't see but it's spitting out water it's a load of reds that's the water coming out sit and wait we're almost up to the two cup mark I suspect I may have been correct. I, I don't think it's going to get over two cups of extra water, but we'll see. cups of water. I'm giddy with anticipation. So the machine has been running for two whole minutes. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. It goes beep, 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 which I didn't record. Um, because I had the video recorder off. Um, and then it's starting to slow down. So I can either let it naturally, it takes about three minutes for it to completely slow down. Because like I said, this baby was going at over 100 miles an hour. So I can let it naturally just, um, you know, what, are they, what is that, inertia? <laughs> it's gonna eventually stop. 
Um, or I can also, with the top here, I can also slowly do this, which applies brakes to the drum. You can hear it breaking. And there you go. It's completely done. It does have a little child safety button, so you can't just pull it you know, pull it open. I mean, you have to really, do you see how I kind of had to really yank on it? Or you can just push this, which will release it. Um, first and foremost, I want to show, so you tip it a little forward to make sure you've got all the liquid out, the water. All right. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys. It's over. Let's slide it up. It's over two cups of water. It's spun out of uh, this supposedly, you know, already been dry from um, the washing machine. And I got over two more cups of water out of that. That's a lot of liquid. Um, the stuff is incredibly dry filling. Pull out the little safety top. Grab my basket. And, uh, yeah, the things when they come out, they're... they're like the t-shirts, um, if I want, because I have a, I need to do a review on my portable, you know, hot air dryer that is 110. But as far as this goes, if, if you have a little bit of time, you don't even need to use a dryer. This right here, um, they come out, you know, incredibly dry feeling. I could hang this t-shirt up. In fact, I did this last night. I, I hung up some work t-shirts for my other half and not even 10 hours later, he pulled one off of the hanger and put it on and went to work to it. It's it, Things dry so incredibly quick, just on their own. And one of the things is, is because you spun out so much of the extra, um, not just water, but sometimes there'll be residue from um, the laundry detergent in their stuff. And that's what will make clothes when you hang dry, I mean, how they get that real stiff feeling to them. You know, and I don't enjoy that. Once you have used this uh, spin dryer, the clothes when, when they are hung up and dried, they don't come out stiff and crunchy like that. They, 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 they dry extremely quickly with just room temperature and they don't feel crunchy at all. They feel like something that has been dried in an actual, um, heat electric dryer. And it, it's just, it's nice, you know, uh, and it, it is, it's truly shocking. You can, you can take some uh, lighter items and they'll be dry within an hour. So it's 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 fairly incredible and it's really very economical. So this thing, um, it was 10% off. So I got it for about $172 free shipping from Amazon Prime. Um, and these things will very quickly pay for themselves with you're not having to use an electric dryer. The wear and tear in your clothes is much less because the, the tumbling and the high heat, you know, in an electric dryer, it's hard on fabrics. It's hard on clothing, you know, and it wears them out quicker. Um, you, you don't have to replace them as often because you're not damaging the fibers. You're not stripping out color, you know, so it's, it's kind of win-win. So that is everything out of my Panda um, spin dryer. I will post the, the, the exact name of the model I got, but yeah, these... Uh, like I said, I can hang them up about 10 hours later at room temperature. Um, the t-shirts will all be dry. I know this for a fact. Um, my jammy bottoms, if I have a drying rack, my socks and everything will be dry. The only thing that may not be completely bone dry will be like towels or jeans. But usually if you hang up towels and jeans between 12 and 24 hours, they will be dry and completely wearable with no electric dryer needed. So uh, if you have time, this thing is amazing. It is so much better on your clothes. It's so much better on your pocketbook. It will pay for itself very quickly. Um, and even if you do need things dried quickly, this will pull out so much extra water that the amount of time and electricity needed in, a, in a, an electric heat dryer um, is, is markedly reduced. So... Um, yeah, this is my Panda 3200 RPM spin dryer. Two thumbs up and great Grebo approved. Thank you.